So do you guys remember when there were a lot of knockoffs for the Apple AirPods? Uh, this is one of them and I actually did a review on it some time ago and I actually lost it. And luckily about a couple weeks ago, uh, my wife found them and they still work. So when these came out, they were roughly about $40. These are not the pro versions. These are basic general AirPods. They look and feel, let's zoom in here a little bit. Uh, they look and feel like the actual AirPods, except for they're black. So now we all know that because they're black, they're not real, but for the most part, for 40 bucks, they still operate about damn near three years, four years later, operate in the same way as actual AirPods do. You just simply pair it like you would normally do it. When it does it with this one, the first time it realized that it was a pair, it didn't recognize it as a non-Apple device, but this time it did. But either way, it still works at the end of the day. Now, between these for 40 bucks versus the J-Labs that I've done before, now for 40 bucks, this in today's time would not be worth it compared to what you could get for $10 more or maybe even $15 more with the J-Labs. So these J-Labs have more power, more bone, more everything, and these are not even the pro versions. The pro versions that I have are the smaller ones and those are roughly go for about $60. So what you would get for this, you won't really get a great value for $40 because you could get $40 something else better. But because this is more like a novelty, this actually still works. I and mean, that's what's mostly amazing. So if there's anybody out there that still needs or has one of these and it still works and stuff like that, I, hey, I'll definitely say keep it. This is just, this is definitely uh, an emergency pair of earbuds. I've got a ton of headphones in here. Don't really need these. But when I lost them, I lost them two years ago and before we moved. And when we moved, it was just found in a bag apparently. And it still works. So for 40 bucks, four years later, this works pretty well. I cannot complain. So I use it just to play around with it, but this is not going to be a keeper in my arsenal of headphones. But it might be, who knows? This still rocks, my J Labs. I still like these. Uh, I did have a story where I actually dropped one of these in water and it still works up to this very day. 40 bucks, four years ago, five years ago, maybe even a bit less. This was well worth its weight in gold. Sound is decent. I guess it's comparable to the actual basic Apple AirPods. Uh, they do play. There's not a lot of power or sound. If you're used to power and sound, then for $40, this is not it. This will be a better choice or any other pair of headphones that actually have a little bit more boom and bottom to it. You're limited to how loud you can get with these. So therefore, you won't really get a whole lot of stuff and features with some of the newer Earbuds, no noise canceling on these. There's nothing like that on this for 40 bucks. I think there was a pro version, and I think for like about $60, you would get some of those features. But for the most part, not with this. But it still works. That's my base bottom line. If you still have it, use it. And if you don't, hey, see if you can actually find some of these Chinese uh, knockoffs. They're probably still around. I'm sure Timo and the rest of them have something similar, but the technology is a little bit more sophisticated, so you probably won't get this basic stuff for $40. You'll probably even get it for less. But if you find it, hey, let me know because, you know, I'm still curious to know, do they still even make these? And I forgot the company that made this. I think the company that made this was called Black Something. I don't recall. It had a whole website and everything. Uh, but this is really not bad for 40 bucks. So it still works. You know, I'm going to perfect that one of these days. <laughs>